Hey guys, it is Crystal here and I am making smothered pork chops for dinner tonight because it's my father-in-law's birthday and he is going to come to dinner tonight. I asked him the other day what he wanted for his birthday dinner and he said pork chops. I said what kind? He didn't say so we're making smothered in the slow cooker. Okay, so I had to order my groceries from H-E-B because Walmart.com, their system was down. And so, hey Kelsey, how are you? So yesterday I went in and placed my whole order with Walmart and they called me like an hour later and said that their system had crashed and that they couldn't fulfill the order. So I had to use H-E-B, home delivery, and there wasn't an opening until today. So I'm like at the last minute, here it is like 12, what is it, 12.45 in Texas. And I am just now getting this in the slow cooker. So I wanna make this move fast so that it's ready to go about six o'clock or so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, this is super easy. Um, we're gonna take pork chops. I bought the bone-in pork chops. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pork chops in it. I need, um, and, and they're sliced kind of thin, um, but they do have bone-in, so that's gonna give lots of good flavor. They're about this thick, okay? So I'm gonna just put those in here in the slow cooker and honestly, I got two packages because eight is really not um, enough because there are, we're a family of eight plus my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my mother-in-law's brother. So we will need both of these packages. So this is gonna be, this is a lot. This is filling up the slow cooker pretty fast. I am going to open this second package. I'm kind of debating on actually using a second slow cooker. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do a second slow cooker because I'm afraid that if I fill this up, let me show you what it looks like right now. And as it is, whoops, can you guys see that? As it is, um, I once I put another layer on here, it's gonna fill it up super high and I don't wanna slow down the cook time at all. So I think that um, using two slow cookers, since I need so much pork, um, since I'm kind of doubling the recipe so that I don't affect cook time and it's ready by the time everybody gets here, about six o'clock, um, I think it's gonna be best to put it into another slow cooker, the second part. Hold on, let me grab another slow cooker and I wanna make sure I'm checking on my laptop to make sure you guys, can see the screen okay. All right, you can. So let me, ah! All right. How is that? I certainly don't want my camera to fall into the crock pot, but I think that's a pretty good view for you guys, is it? Yes, no, maybe so. Can you guys let me know? Hi, Sophia. Sophia says hello. Okay, so let me kind of move this a little bit. But I'm worried that too much moving it is going to um, make it fall. <laughs> so that should be a good view. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what it takes to put one of these together and then I'm gonna put the second one together in a, sec in a separate slow cooker, okay? So let me wash my hands because they're covered in pork. specialty is to bake so he absolutely loves it um, and uh, spray it with the nonstick spray coating and you should be good okay so we're going to add to this um, I've got I've got my water here that is for let me move this over so you guys can see the water going on over here this is how I make my broth okay so I'm going to make two cups of chicken broth so I've got two cups of water in there and then our lid says here, for every two, one cup of water, we use two teaspoons of our broth base, okay? So I'm going to, so there's two cups in here, so we need four 
of these. One, two, three, and four. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to add to that um, let me set this here. I'm gonna add to that a can of cream of mushroom. And guys, I just buy the store brand. I have one here that is HEB store brand. I have another one here that's Walmart store brand. So I'm gonna add a can of cream of mushroom. Okay. And then I'm going to add some garlic. Grab a spoon for the garlic. Okay. I'm going to add two of these. We've got the oven preheating for Luke's cake that he's going to bake. He's baking Grandpa a chocolate cake with chocolate icing. Grandpa turned 80 today. 80 years old. So crazy. Okay. I'm using the HEB store brand. I would have gotten the Walmart store brand if my order would have gone through. Uh, beefy onion, which it comes with two packets. I really just wanted onion soup. Um, I see that it says beef and here I am cooking pork using chicken broth and beefy onion soup. That should be fun, right? <laughs> Let's just keep it fun around here. Okay. So we've got that in here and honestly the soup and so the canned cream of mushroom and then this soup mix is going to provide a lot of sodium in here so I'm not going to add any salt at this time which um, my father-in-law likes a lot of salt <laughs> I think because he always talks about food needing salt um, but I really feel like this is enough salt. And then I've grinded up some pepper here. I just turn it upside down and grind it in the lid and then take the lid off. Okay, so I'm adding some pepper. Just eyeball it. Okay. All right, there's that. And then this pork gravy. So we have chicken broth, beef onion soup. We're making pork chops and then we have pork gravy. I'm going to use half of this. Since I am doubling this recipe, I really should have gotten two of these, but I didn't. So I'm going to use half of this in here and save the other half for, because I'm going to use, I'm going to make this second batch in another slow cooker. Just because I'm getting this in the oven, in the slow cooker a little late, and I want to make sure dinner's done when they get here, so I don't want to overfill my slow cooker. If you have any questions about any of that, hop over to crystalandcomp.com. I have a post that tells you the ins and outs of cooking in the slow cooker, how full you want your slow cooker, what size slow cooker you want to use, and all of that because the fuller it is, the longer it's yep, the fuller it is, the longer it's gonna take to cook. And the less full it is, the more you run the risk of your food drying out. So if you make chicken, for example, a lot, and your chicken is always dry, it is no, you can use it. It is quite possible that your chicken is dry because you are not filling up your slow cooker full enough. Okay, so I need to hold on to this. I'm going to stick it in the soup can. I'm going to throw this away. And we're going to cut up some mushrooms. And add some fresh mushrooms to this. This is my cutting board from Grove that I love. Can you hear my kids? They're clearly very active today. Luke Henry, you're gonna have to wait for me, okay? Mom, yes, I baby. This, I wiped this up now. I wiped this up now. Oh, that's fantastic that you wiped yourself. I'm so can proud of you. Mommy, can you go can wash you your hands? Sure. So we've got some fresh. Hey, Mom, can I help? Not right now. Go wash can your hands. So I can help? Uh, no, go wash your hands so that you're clean, and then you and I can work on a different project in a minute. I'm gonna rinse these off real quick. Okay, hold on. 
All right, so let me slice some of these up. I like fresh mushrooms. I'm just gonna throw them right on top of. Hold on just a second. Of the uh, pork chops that are already in the slow cooker. Okay. Hold on just a minute, please. You don't want one of these. Okay, step away, please. All right, mamas, how many of you utilize your slow cooker as your saving grace for getting dinner in the oven or for getting dinner on the table? I am happy that your hands are clean. I want you to go upstairs and play or I want you to go in the living room, okay? Thank you. You can step away now, okay? okay. I'll help you in just a minute, all right? Thank you, baby. Bye. Okay, they can't see you. I can see you. They can't see you. I can see you. Okay, so see this? We've got Hi. our pork chops in Hi. there. And we've got our, um, I added in the mushrooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. I'm going to pour in our different soup mixtures here. I'm gonna pour this right on top. Look at how good that is. So we don't need to add any onions because the onions are in that Lipton's onion soup mix. Okay, those are totally smothered. Look at how good that looks. Okay, I'm going to, where's my lid? I have set this for um, five and a half hours on high and this is less than halfway full so it should be um, it should cook pretty quickly and actually I think I want to add to thicken the sauce a little bit I'm gonna take some of let's see here let me get another little bowl Luke, you need to come clean up your cake mess. Kids love to cook, but they don't always love to clean up, do they? Okay, I'm gonna get about three tablespoons or so of water in here. Okay, can you guys see this? I've got some water that I've put in a little bowl. I wanna make um, a thickening sauce. And so that can be done with some water and some cornstarch, okay? So I am actually gonna do, I'm just gonna eyeball it, just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. Hold on, I'm in the middle of a Facebook Live. Okay, well hold on please. In a minute please. Okay, this is just some cornstarch and water, and it's gonna help thicken the sauce so that it's not so watery. And I am just gonna pour this right in, okay? I'm just gonna pour it right on top. And uh, let me stir it just a little bit. I got a lot going on over here, huh? Here we go, so there's that. And we're just going to stir it up a little bit so that we have everything combined. And as this cooks, that cornstarch is going to thicken this up as well. We've got our pork chops thoroughly covered here. We're going to make sure they're thoroughly covered. Um, and that cornstarch will thicken this up so that it's a nice gravy to put on top of your mashed potatoes. Because I'm going to make mashed potatoes, rolls, and salad to go with this. Okay? And that is it. So then we're good to go. That's gonna cook for about five and a half hours. Um, and I'm about to start another slow cooker because I wanna double this recipe. But like I said, I don't want to, um, because I'm kind of in a time crunch, <laughs> and uh, really this should cook for about six hours, I don't want to overfill my crock pot. And so I've only got this halfway full, which means it's gonna cook faster. And I'm going to start a second round of this same recipe in my other slow cooker using these right here. 
um, so that we have two batches because we're serving eight, nine, 10, 11 people tonight for my father-in-law's 80th birthday. And then Luke has, let me show you guys, he made the cake. He's got it going, let me, he's got it going in the oven here, a chocolate cake, yum. Look at that, it's steam coming out of there. Um, I, the other day, so he just made this cake mix here. The other day, I made my enchilada bake casserole. Mm -hmm. You can have that spoon in the oven. It was one of the freezer mills from last month. And because I filled my nine by 13 pan so full, some of the oil from the hamburger meat drained out of the pan and got into the bottom of the oven. And so now it keeps smoking. So that's not good. And look at Luke. He is so good. He always starts a timer. He cracks me up. He is so organized. Absolutely love how organized he is. Okay, guys, I will show you. Jack, Jack. Jackie, no, no. No. I will show you guys a picture of our dinner plate tonight when dinner is done. I am making these to go with it. I like, I like to utilize instant potatoes. Hold on, I got someone stirring the spoon. Stir your drink, not on the chair. I like to make instant mashed potatoes, um, or I'll make my potatoes in a slow cooker, but I'm not doing that today, we're doing instant. We're gonna do these rolls, and I'm gonna make a salad. One of my favorite salads right now is using, this is, you can use any, this is um, spinach and arugula. You can use just spinach, you can use a, I made one last night with a baby Mommy, spring mix. And I put in a container of um, goat cheese. And then I like to, if I have time, I do some of the medley tomatoes. I like these, they're different colors. Sometimes I will also add in, where are they? The, um, here they are. I like to add these into my salad, the little sweet peppers. These are so good, my father-in-law loves them. So since it's his birthday, I'll make sure we add some of those. And then I also like these pickling cucumbers. Slice those up real thin and add them. And then, so the goat cheese is one of the main special kind of ingredients that makes it so good. But then I also add this. This is cranberry. I don't know why my camera keeps giving like these lights from heaven. I don't know what it is. Anyway, these cranberry walnut, glazed walnuts, they're salad toppers. You can find them over near this in the salad area at your grocery store or get them on walmart.com or heb.com. This kid wants peanut butter and jelly. Okay, one second. Add those to your salad. It's so, so good. And then my favorite dressing and lots of different brands make it is a raspberry vinaigrette. So good. So good, you will love it. It's the perfect salad. And I've made it three or four times since we've moved here and my father-in-law loves it. So I thought it would be good to go with the smothered pork chops, the mashed potatoes, and the rolls. So we're gonna have a delicious dinner. All right, guys, let me know what you've put in your slow cooker tonight. Um, I'm gonna make this kid, where is he? Where is Jack? I'm gonna make him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich as he's driving his skateboard on my dishwasher. All right guys, hope you're having a great Monday. Have you done your meal plan for the week? Have you figured out what you're making for dinner tonight? Tell me in the comments below. Have a great Monday, bye.